It's been a while since I've done any pen and ink, so I thought I would nip into Teosui sketches and um, take this photograph, simplify it a lot, because there's no way I'm going to draw all of those leaves, and do a pen and ink with lots of cross hatching and lines. So let's get into it. <laughs> So I'm straight into Teosui, creating a new document and I take the photograph and you see what I do, I zoom right in on it and just take a very small portion because I only want to do half a dozen leaves because this is an exercise really in hatching and creating shadow and form by uh, just using series of, of lines really. So I start with doing uh, using the pencil to get a light pencil sketch just of the sort of few main leaves and then I'm straight in with the pen and ink and uh, this I always do this when I'm working with pen and ink I'd, I don't like to do just sort of lines I like to do big blocks of black shapes so I will take normally I take a brush rather than a pen but to be honest with you, I forgot there was a brush in Teosui uh, for the pen. So I start using, I begin by using the marker pen on a thick setting to start blocking in all of these shadows, really. If I was doing this in um, a traditional style with a pen and ink, I would be using a white ink as well to put some fine lines on this because you will see later on that I'm drawing with a... Uh, an eraser I guess really to draw in um, or lift out the black well if I was doing it traditionally I would use a white pen so I start off with an idea of uh, I get in the black shapes and then I start putting detail in by some of the uh, vertical lines on the bark and then I put those veins in the leaf and I thought to myself you know what that's not right because the actual in the photograph the veins are, are white so I decide to hatch the whole of the leaf first and then um, put the veins in after by using the eraser to lift out the line. So that's what I was talking about uh, when I said I'd be using a white pen. I would put those veins in with a white pen if I was doing this traditional. So no way am I cheating here. I don't think I am by uh, using the eraser. And you can see I can get uh, really dark shadows by etching lines very close together. And here we go, I start putting in uh, those veins. So I'm using the eraser there, just set quite a thin razor. And I also use it to put some vines around that um, trunk as well. So you can see I've got sort of the main leaves sketched in, which means I can then hatch over them. And uh, but I've still got lots of areas where I haven't done anything yet. And you, you can see I'm getting a sort of a, a vertical shape for my composition. Um, I've never really explored the setting of the paper size as much in TSC, but as, as much, far as I'm aware, you're kind of restricted to this landscape type uh, sheet of paper. Whereas if you're using something like Procreate or ArtRage or pretty much any other app, you can... Uh, change it to portrait so if anybody knows a way without me going into the menu because I'm a bit lazy I just like to use that pick up pick an app up and use it if they know a way of creating a landscape in Teosui you can put that in the comments and let me know that would be appreciated and you can see I'm sort of developing this sort of vertical shape just by um, creating a, a barrier I suppose really where I just don't go beyond that shape uh, the last time I did this, I actually sketched in a rectangle and, and then erased a lot. But this time I'm actually working within that boundaries to start with because I know that's what I want to do. Th at this point, I decide that the etching on that leaf is too... Uh, the lines are too close together and too thin and it's too defined. And I want to... Um, create thick lines and uh, a bit more more of a statement really you notice I've switched to the brush now I have discovered that there is a brush 
in Teosui and I'm using that instead of the uh, marker pen and you get much nicer lines they kind of flow much better than they do with a marker pen and by using Achin I am creating lots of uh, shade under those leaves and you, can, you could argue that I'm not following the form of the leaf because it's sort of um, the lines are so sometimes are going off at a 45 degree angle across the whole of the leaf but uh, I think I am really if you look at the sort of central leaf in the middle I've got those horizontal line those diagonal lines but they are there is a slight curve of them because that's sort of representing a shadow on the leaf and that is a curve on the leaf and I have kind of tried to do that although I'm not sort of um, following every contour and bump on the leaf I am loosely staying within the shape and you can see now I'm adding uh, more detail or more leaves as I'm going I'm feeling as I'm getting into the sketch this always happens when I haven't done anything for a while I haven't done any pen and ink for a while I sort of start off a little bit gingerly and sort of um, take care with what I'm doing and then by the time I'm sort of 10 15 minutes into it I totally up the pace and go a lot quicker and the, I think the brush strokes uh, come across as being a lot more confident and put down quickly because I am actually painting or sketch I should say sketching sketching a lot faster uh, than I was initially because I've sort of I know where I'm going now and I'm sort of um, got confidence with the action and um, getting back into it again uh, continually swapping between the eraser the uh, fine line not the marker pen the uh, inking pen sorry the fine line inking pen and the um, brush so if I said earlier I was using a marker pen I wasn't I was using the fine line uh, inking pen but add it quite thick which kind of turns it into a marker I suppose and you can see I'm going in really dark with some of these shadows on this uh, trunk now because I, I kind of want to get the the impression that there's light uh, on the trunk and on sort of the central leaves and everything else is thrown into shadow and you'll even notice that when I've drawn in the veins in odd places I've actually etched back over them to th sort of throw them back into shadow so that's a nice tip that um, you know if you lift something out like these veins I'm putting in now you could hatch over them again I don't know if I do on this one I probably won't now I've said that no moving on and I'm kind of filling in all those little areas of, of, of white I've just hatched over them I've not sort of filled them in sharp but sort of uh, just um, gone over them lightly and here I thought it would be quite nice to put a white outline around one or two of the leaves so I start doing that I thought it added a little bit more form I thought it was all getting a little bit lost and I'm using the eraser because if you imagine you want this is a, a PNG file so if you wanted to print this out on a t-shirt or you probably want this design but if you was doing a design that you did if you was uh, used white ink instead of uh, the eraser when you come to print your design you get the black print design and you'd have any white you put on it as well so if you was printing on say a yellow shirt you would be getting white ink on there so that's why I always use uh, an eraser to lift out if I can because if I do want to print it out on gray stock or you know anything really uh, you know paper stock you you've got that option but if you're using white ink you're a bit stuffed really it's um, it's a, a no-no so that's something you need to think about as well if you're sketching and you can see I'm matching over some of those uh, white out outlines that I put on earlier I've sort of hatched on them to just throw them back into the shadows a little bit and you can see now it's really taking shape where I've got all the shadow on the left hand side the main leaves 
sort of highlighted and now the leaves that are sort of to the right and behind the tree trunk i'm just sort of shading them in as well to throw them back slightly i made up a few of those leaves as well i got sort of fed up of trying to copy everything and just started to put in a few ideas of my own really so we're getting sort of close to finishing i've already signed it so just sort of putting in finishing details like a few fine lines here and there really gentle touches really and that is it that is my pen and ink sketch in Teo Sui uh, showing you how to use cross hatching to create shade uh, and form I hope you enjoyed this video if you have a big thumbs up as always is much appreciated and if you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing because I've got lots of videos like this and I would love to be sharing them with you. So hopefully I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.